Watch a new minimally invasive way to do coronary bypass surgery. It could be a game changer. It dramatically reduces pain and recovery time because, as Dr. Max Gomez tells us, it is done robotically. Doctor. That's right. It's the Da Vinci robot. Now, that robot has been used for a variety of operations, from prostate and kidney to hernias and hysterectomies. But one common operation that could really benefit from the minimally invasive approach of a robot is coronary artery bypass. Now, Mount Sinai is doing it. 71-year-old Skip Victus was back up and moving just a few weeks after having a double coronary bypass surgery. It's a procedure that could have sidelined him for months of recovery. The recovery has just been a miracle. I'm back to normal, my heart is strong, um, and I'm able to do whatever I want to do. It just feels terrific. That's because Skip's surgery was done totally endoscopically, meaning doctors were able to make small incisions and use a robot to insert highly specialized instruments between the ribs to perform a double bypass operation. Traditional bypass surgery is far more invasive. It involves splitting the sternum to get at the heart. The recovery is much more painful and carries a higher risk of infection. After totally endoscopic bypass, patients return to their normal life very, very quickly without pain, without that prolonged recovery, without narcotics. Dr. John Puskas, Chair of Cardiovascular Surgery at Mount Sinai St. Luke's, is one of the few surgeons in the world performing the new procedure. He believes it could be a game changer for patients. I think this could change the paradigm for how we treat the disease process it, that is the most common killer of human beings coronary disease. You look great. I feel great. I Skip really says he feels like he's been given a gift. It's just been an amazing trajectory for me. Each day I feel better and better. For now, the TCAB surgery, as it's called, can only do a double bypass because it uses two native arteries in the chest wall to bypass the heart blockages. But those arteries make for much longer lasting bypasses, which often reclog in 10 years or so when veins are used for bypass. And so far, the surgery is really harder to learn, takes more time, much more demanding, but that's always been the case when a new technique gets, gets introduced. So we'll see if this becomes far more widespread. So far, only a handful of places around the country are doing it. But for patients, it's a big deal. Oh, it's a huge deal, huge deal. Dr. Max right. Gomez, thank you. Thank you. you.